You've got the wrong person. I was framed. I blacked out and woke up with this stupid suit on. Ask Randall, he's still somewhere in the mansion. He can confirm every word I've said, please. We've carefully examined the mansion from the outside, but had some difficulties inspecting the rooms themselves. Not all of them are accessible at the moment, so we had to leave them for now. There was no sign of Randall inside, so I guess that Wyona simply tells lies to justify herself. She knows she's our prime suspect and tries to find her way out of this situation. You must thank God for getting out of that fire without even the smallest scratch. It's a miracle indeed. Unfortunately, all evidence burned to ashes. The mansion is pretty badly damaged, so I wouldn't recommend you go inside. I doubt Randall is inside. He just couldn't have made it there so fast. Fine. All right. I'll let you inside once you show me some solid proof that he is in there. No proof. No tour around the mansion. Sorry. Let's see. Oh, he did manage to get there after all. Damn it! All right. You can come in and search the kitchen. You can search the surrounding area as well. I trust you on this one, Eleanor. Well, I'll go do the paperwork and get Wyona to the police station. See you later.
Randall cannot answer you. It is a spirit you're talking to. I'm here to get revenge on the man who brought me into this world. That man... His impudence knows no bounds. He created a machine, calling it a door to the other side, and used it to drag me into this world. Once a soul from the other side gets trapped in this world, it is doomed to suffer unrelenting pain. I wanted to kill that wicked man. I hoped it would put an end to this torture of mine. That's why I inhabited this body. But that bastard was much stronger. He used magic ropes to tie me down and left me in flames so I could burn together with the body I possess. I did my best to protect this body, and I won't leave it until I kill that bastard with my bare hands. Ugh!